Hi Tribe, this is Jax and today we're going to make a simple face scrub. It's all natural, organic, and you can even eat it, but I don't recommend that because it probably won't taste really good. So we're going to be using organic cane sugar. This is the only time you're going to use the um, sugar in my house or for me to use. I'm also going to use a pure pastel soap. I'm using Dr. Bronner's today. You want a good source of olive oil. I'm doing an our organic um, extra virgin olive oil and then essential oils if you're liking. I'm using some lavender and maybe a couple of drops of lime. And I think that's it. So all you have to do is get yourself, this is a, I believe a four ounce jar. You're going to fill your jar with the sugar and this, I usually do the sugar first. So let's see if I can do it carefully. So almost full, like that, okay? And then you're just gonna pour some olive oil. Um, now the consistency is gonna be up to you. I don't like it too runny, as far as like the sugar being too, too wet. Um, so just gauge it if you want a little more oily, just add more olive oil. Now, but I don't like it too oily myself. So it, right now it's a little dry, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more oil. And this is not like, oh, you add this much sugar to this much. It's just really what you like. Okay, so this is the consistency that I like. It's not too wet. It's like a, almost like a, um, when you see those salt, salt scrubs, kind of like that, but you're doing sugar. Now, for the Dr. Browners, I use anywhere between one teaspoon to three teaspoons, which is a tablespoon. I'm going to use about one, two, maybe two teaspoons in there. And you're just going to, that's what's going to make it lather up nicely for you. So this is a consistency that I like. So it's kind of not too dry, not too runny. And then at this point, I will add my essential oils. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to five lavender and maybe just two lime. You don't want to put too much citrus in your face products because they can interact with the sun when you go outside. And that is going to be my face scrub. Now the next thing I'll show you how to apply it and you'll see how it looks on my face. <laughs> but it smells really nice. Perfect. So smell it, make sure you like it, and because that's what I'm going to use for the next month or so. This will last me about a, a month, maybe, um, yeah, about a month, a little longer sometimes depending on how often I wash my face. Typically, I only wash my face maybe twice a day, in the mornings and then before I go to bed. One thing that's important with this, because it's oil-based, make sure you do not get water in it because water and oil, um, causes a bacteria overgrowth and you don't want bacteria on your face. So what I do as soon as I, you know, you can use a designated wooden something or a spoon, put about a teaspoon in your palm, oops, <laughs> um, and then what I do is I put the lid on right away so that when I'm washing my face, I know that there's no water droplets are going to go in that. It's very important you do not get water in your oil. Okay, all right, move that out of the way. And I do have a little towel. I'm gonna show you how it lathers up. Now, don't mind my wet hair, I'm just do a shower. So you're gonna do this. I usually wet my hands first, and then I will scrub my face with it. You see how it kind of lathers up? It's very lightly. Now the sugar acts as, as a really good exfoliator. The um, the uh, olive oil is really good for um, actually getting rid of dirt and um, makeup and other stuff and hydrating your um, more hydrating or moisturizing your skin. And then the essential oils that I use, you know, sometimes you can use tea tree if you have an acne issue. You can use uh, rosemary um, for dark patches. You can use lavender soothing. You can use um, 
frankincense is really good for the skin. And you just rinse up. Now make sure your water is nice and warm. You don't want hot water. Now, if you want to close your pores, something simple, just move it to really, really, really cold and rinse it up with cold water. Just pat dry. Okay? Now, yeah, I like that pole because it really does close your pores up. And then, of course, you want to follow it up with a nice um, witch hazel toner, which I don't have right here. And uh, I make my own tallow frankincense moringa um, cream. And that's it. But I hope you enjoyed. Here's the finished product again. Keep it with the lid closed, and this, you don't need to refrigerate it. You can just keep it in your cabinet um, until it's done, and then just reuse it. Well, I hope you enjoyed making your, your or mine, or ours, face scrub, and let me know if you make it, and what scents or essential oils did you end up using. All right, Tribe, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.